All seats were empty, Serena Williams and veterans walk out during Harry's speech at ESP Y Awards. Harry's full speech is quite controversial. First, he brings veterans on stage, seemingly using them as a shield. Then he gives a shout out to Mary Tillman and begins talking about the unbreakable bond between a mother and a son. At that point, I couldn't watch anymore. I can't handle this unstable manlet any longer. It's said that Meghan wasn't allowed to walk the red carpet, though this is based on no facts. I think she'd have risked the booze to walk it. The network likely wanted them to walk for entertainment, but they couldn't face the inevitable questions. The audacity to use a dead soldier and involve his mother who openly opposed Harry receiving the award is disgusting. Harry's mention of Mary Tillman is mocking and disrespectful, knowing her disapproval. Shameless Harry is a special kind of disgrace for not only accepting the award, but also for rubbing it in Mary Tillman's face. He attempted to negate her opinion, which was gross. He followed a patronising script, likely to protect his interests and TV deals, showing that he's all about the grift. Skipping an army memorial for the Lion King premiere and turning Invictus into Meghan's annual merching fest, where they promote themselves for profit while Invictus covers the costs, is disgraceful. Harry's talk about the mother-son bond while trampling Mary Tillman's wishes is despicable. He should keep a name out of his mouth. Comparing Harry to William, who seems more well-adjusted and has the support of the Middletons, shows Harry's reliance on his mother's memory. Using Diana as a crutch instead of creating his own identity is lazy. His speech, though, attempting to save face by acknowledging the veterans and Mary Tillman was likely selfish. He didn't deserve the award and using Mary Tillman's name to curry favour is shameful. The veteran's presence on stage seemed to be a last-minute attempt to avoid boos. Harry's actions are self-serving and mock the wishes of a true hero's mother. He walked behind his mother's coffin, yet William, who did the same, appears more well-adjusted. William isn't seeking excuses for his behaviour, unlike Harry, who uses Diana to avoid standing on his own. Harry's speech was damage control trying to shift focus to the veterans after years of Invictus being overshadowed by Meghan. Though it was a good PR move, it wasn't altruistic. The speech was written by experienced speech experts to salvage his public image. However, his motives are transparent. He accepted the award with his name engraved, not for the Invictus Foundation, highlighting his need for attention. Using veterans to shield himself from criticism and invoking Mary Tillman's name is deeply shameful. He doesn't deserve the award and using such tactics to avoid backlash is cowardly. The veterans on stage who've truly served were likely uncomfortable, exposed to Harry's attempt to mask his undeserved honour. Harry's actions and speech show a lack of respect for true heroes and their families. Overall, Harry's speech was an attempt to salvage his reputation, but his actions and use of veterans and Mary Tillman reveal a self-serving nature. His continued reliance on his mother's memory and avoidance of personal responsibility highlight his inability to stand on his own. The backlash he faces is justified, and his attempts to manipulate public perception are increasingly transparent.